In the story of Dragon Ball, fusion has been presented as an ultimate ability, which can take two warriors and combine them to form a single powerful fighter, whose strength is greater than the sum of their parts. Nowhere has this concept been greater demonstrated than by the fusions of Goku and Vegeta, known as Vegito and Gogeta. But which of these two fusions is superior? Is it the result of the Metamarese fusion or the Patara earrings? Well, in this video, we're going to discuss that. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you can see all of my content right away when it comes out. Alright guys, so as I said in the intro, in this video we're going to be discussing who is the better fusion between Gogeta and Vegito. So joining me today is someone who has some experience with this topic, and his name is... Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh from Dragon Ball Nation here. And back in the day, Josh, you actually did a video that was similar to this, discussing who is more powerful between Gogeta and Vegito. Although that was like a little while before we learned more information about Vegito. It was approximately 87 years ago. Yeah, back in the good old days when Josh was only in his 300s. I think I graduated high school. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. But anyway, Josh, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to break this down into multiple categories. Number one, which fusion is more perfect between the two of Gogeta and Vegito? And number two, which fusion is more powerful? So, Josh, let's first get into which is the more perfect fusion between the two. So, of course, we know that there is a difference between the Patara fusion and the Metamarese dance fusion. One of them is created through through the use of a artifact which is given to people by the Supreme Kais. It is something that is intended for the Supreme Kais initially, and it supposedly, at least first, was supposed to give you a permanent fusion between two beings. Whereas the Metamarese fusion, on the other hand, is a technique which comes from the planet Metamore that Goku learned in the afterlife, where very similar to Batara fusion, it allows two beings of similar power to fuse their powers together and become much more powerful than the some of their parts. So Josh, between the two of these, which would you say is the more perfect fusion and why? I would say Vegito hands down because not only did the Elder Kai say that the earrings were much better, it's tough because the Fusion Reborn film doesn't really go a whole lot in depth of their power and how their fusion kind of functions in terms of just how complete it is with Gogeta in the Fusion Reborn film. Yeah. But with Vegito, you know, it's kind of just said that since the rivals, it's an even stronger fusion, the earrings are stated to be better or you know, implied. There's totally many different translations and I guess dubs of how the Kai talks about the earrings, but it's always in a positive light in relation to the fusion dance. I mean, it's always pretty much implied to be better. And even all of your dice entry stuff and outside material tell you the same thing. So I would just right off of that, just say Vegito's better in terms of how perfect it is, uh, hands down. I mean, without going into in depth on what the rest of the video is going to be with the strength and all the background information. I mean, yeah, just just based off of what's been stated, it's just a more complete fusion in that sense. But I mean, Gogeta could be even better in terms of just being more balanced with the powers because they both have to lower their power and make their powers equal. I don't know if that has a huge effect on it, but that is a good point because with the Memories fusion, the two characters have to equalize their power so that they can actually perfectly flow into one another. Whereas with the Patara fusion, you know, you could pretty much put it on two characters that have completely and drastically different levels of power. Like, for example, when Goku was looking for someone to fuse with before he faced off against Buhan, he said that he was looking at different fighters. One of them was Dende, one of them was Tien, and one of them was even Mr. Satan. And as he said, oh, if I were to fuse with Mr. Satan, if anything, my power might go down. So when it comes to Vegeta, you know, Vegeta has usually been in the same kind of level of power as Goku. In Dragon Ball Z, Goku had Super Saiyan 3, which put him in a different level, but that was a different form, whereas their base powers were equal. And the same thing can pretty much be said in Dragon Ball Super, because even though Goku had Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, he and Vegeta were roughly in the same level of power when they used Patara Fusion, and I think that pretty much the reason why they went with Patara Fusion again is just because the fact that, you know, it doesn't seem like something within Vegeta's character to normally do some wacky dance to make him fuse with Goku, you know? He'd rather kind of be forced into Goku, you know, to use some strange terminology with the earrings than do a dance. But, you know, it's 
it's possible in the future they're going to do the actual dance, but we'll get into that. So it makes some sense to say that Vegito is a more perfect fusion because of what Elder Kai described and because of the actual method by which they fuse, which is an otherworldly item. However, Josh, that doesn't necessarily mean that Vegito is more powerful because they never explicitly say that Batara would have to be more powerful than the dance fusion. So do you think, though, Josh, that Vegito would be more powerful than dance fusion? You know, if you want to include guides or if you want to discard them in this case, that's up to you. What, in your opinion, is the more powerful fusion out of the two if they were to start at like the same level? Well, if we don't use guides, there's really not a lot to go off of. So I feel like the only way to really do it justice is to use the guides. But I'll say this first, going off of what you had talked about with Goku trying to find a fusion partner and having Mr. Satan maybe even make him weaker. I mean, look at like the Elder Kai. I mean, I would have to imagine his power maybe shrunk when he fused the witch. Probably. There's nothing that says it, but he just doesn't seem powerful in relation to the Supreme Kai, I guess. Granted, especially if he gets old from fusing, it's going to make him weak, I guess, in that case. But it definitely didn't give him some massive power buff. So I will say this about both dances right now, that if Goku was to fuse with someone like Mr. Satan, he would probably be better off using the fusion dance and dropping his power because the multiplier might be a lot better in that case. But I have no idea, I guess, on that one. But if I had to just go off of Vegito and Gogeta, I always stand by the fact that at least thus far in the series and after everything we've been given, I still got to stick with the fact that Vegito is just a stronger fusion. It's a better fusion. It's more complete. It's the full package. Now it does have the drawback and maybe Goku and Vegito don't look at it as a drawback that has the timer now for mortals. So obviously Vegito Blue was in the show for like what, nine minutes? It's supposed to be around an hour for a mortal, but obviously it didn't last that long for Vegito. But regardless, the equation for fusion that's in the Dizenchu is something closer to multiplication. Some people say it is multiplication, but it's emphasized that it's a stronger fusion than the dance. So I feel like that as a whole should be all people need to hear or read it up. Not only that, even if the fusions were the same power or the same multiplier, which a lot of people think it's the same exact thing, the fusion's just as strong as the Patara, which I don't see how that's the case because they're two different methods. They're completely different. Yeah. That's like trying to say that Super Saiyan is, is just as strong of a multiplier is Frieza transforming. But even if they were equal, the fact that Goku's gonna have to lower his power to fuse with Vegeta, I mean, there you go right there. That's already gonna make the total number lower. But it's just the fact that at least thus far until they change it, the Patara is just flat out just a better fusion. It, it is. Yeah, I agree. Going by the guides as well as what we've actually seen in the anime thus far, it would only make sense that Vegeta would be more powerful or at least have some greater advantages due to the method by which he fuses. Of course, like you said, there is a possibility that the Patara could lead to a weaker fusion than something like the dance fusion because it doesn't have to be perfectly even to do the fusion like it does with the dance fusion. However, overall, it would make sense to say that from what we've seen, Vegito would be more powerful than Gogeta. However, Josh, you know, there is the possibility that something they might pull is that if Gogeta were to say show up again in the main timeline, like let's say that he shows up in the Broly movie. They can rewrite the whole thing. Yeah, they could rewrite how it would work. Maybe like the fusion of Goku and Vegeta through the dance fusion would be so perfect that it would take them beyond the Patara. Or another thing they could do is it would be weaker than Patara fusion. However, maybe it'll last longer. So like we heard about how they have the 30 minute time limit, you know, whenever they fuse together with Patara, unless of course they're using something like Super Saiyan 3, which drops it down to five minutes. So it's possible that they could do it where Gogeta will stay around for longer than Vegeta would have, so that increase in time that he's around will lead to greater usability and greater versatility than, say, the Patara fusion, which seems to defuse incredibly quickly, especially if we look at Super Dragon Ball Heroes, where we see that they go Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Vegeta when they're fighting against Cumber, and then they just <laughs> defuse within, like, 30 seconds, you know, which, it's funny, because I feel like we've talked about that in previous videos. It's okay, 30 seconds, like, half an episode of that show, so... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, going beyond that, maybe even they could give Gogeta like a crazy ability, kind of like he had the Stardust Breaker, I think it was called in the Fusion Reborn movie. Right. You know, or the Big Bang Kamehameha. Stardust Breaker and Soul Punisher, but I think Soul Punisher is the kicks that he does prior to the actual, I guess, ball of energy. But I mean, like, I feel like Vegito can make just the same move or something similar, you know what I mean? It's just a big, powerful move to illustrate that this character has a new attack. Like, I think Gogeta could just as easily do a spirit sword of some type. It's just energy. It's all it is. Or Vegito can do Big Bang Kamameha or, you know, Final Kamameha for Gogeta, you know? Both fusions are gonna know the same moves, I feel like, you know, unless the Patara is really adding something. Well, talking about, like, the little differences between the two, which fusion do you actually like more, like, aesthetically in terms of their moveset? Do you like Vegito's moveset and moves like the final Kamehameha? Or do you prefer Vegito's moveset, Vegito's transformations? You can even include GT if you want to, and something more like the Big Bang Kamehameha. Which of these two do you like more overall and think, I guess, has more of a cool factor going on? As far as actually being cool, I mean, Gogeta in the Fusion Reborn film was just calm and, you know, got stuff done really quick. We don't see a whole lot of him. I love him in GT, even though he's super cocky. I love Gogeta in GT. Such a good moment in the entirety of the franchise, really, was that Omega Shenron fight. Yeah, it was really cool. But I've always gravitated towards Vegito, and I don't want people to think that that's like me being biased, so I'm going to say he's strong because I'm not like that. I just look at the information I have presented to me, and, you know, I could care less if a character is stronger. It doesn't affect how cool they are to me. Just the way Vegito fights, you know, the kicks... <laughs> It's just effortless. He just toys with people. It's the way he presents himself, you know? Toying with Super Boo was such an amazing moment. And even Vegito Blue, people will say what they want about that whole fight, but I love every second of it, even if it is very brief. I love it. It's so fun to watch. And we just haven't seen enough of Gogeta. You know, he doesn't have as much content as Vegito does in terms of the show. That's true. It's just, that's what makes this harder. But again, just going back to outside material, I mean, nothing indicates that the way they fused into Gogeta was like any different than like go tanks you know in terms of if they got like a bigger boost or not i would like to think that they got a boost from being rivals just like with patara yeah. but there's nothing that indicates that so i mean it's just tough to say all in all i mean i just think vegeto is just represented to be more powerful and it just seems that in all the sources and all the games i know the games don't matter to people but all the games they try to make vegeto seem like the strongest but it's some of the games that make him seem stronger than beerus so <laughs> <laughs> Super Vegito. That's true. Although maybe at this point, you know, by the end of the tournament to power, that might even be true, but who really knows? It might be. You know, in terms of the cool factor, they definitely are both really cool, but they really have mostly been ineffective in their previous entries, except for the first time that we see Gogeta appear, because that's the only time one of these fusions actually wins a fight. But with that being said, let's talk about the possibility of Gogeta appearing in the future of the main timeline, or in the canon version of the events. Do you think that he's going to be in the Broly movie? And if so, do you think he's actually going to accomplish anything? Or do you think he's just going to once again be beaten or defuse? I do want to see Gogeta in the movie. I've wanted to see it since the trailer dropped. I don't know if I want to see him beat Broly, but maybe weaken him to a point to where almost like a repeat. How about Goku, Vegeta, and I don't know how Frieza is actually taking part in the film. I know he's in the trailer. Yeah. We don't know exactly what the story beats are, I don't believe. Of course, I haven't really been keeping up with all that stuff, but I would kind of like to see a combination of Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza taking down Broly kind of in a similar fashion to how Goku and Frieza worked together to beat Jiren. That'd be cool. Not an exact repeat, but it was such a cool moment that, you know, having all three of them there after, let's say, Gogeta has weakened them to the point where, you know, Broly's weakened, the fusion's over. Yeah. I don't want to see Gogeta show up and just mud stomp Broly, though. <laughs> I want to see a fight. This is actually, you'll have to find the clip, Mike, or I can send it to you, but it's very easy to look up. Budokai 3's intro, Broly and Gogeta actually fight in that, Super Gogeta, and... It looks fairly even. <laughs> Obviously, it wouldn't be, in that sense, those two movie characters, but I would like to see something like that happen. Make Gogeta an official part of the timeline. I think everyone wants to see it now at this point. Everyone's accepted the fact Broly's in the movie, so why not add Gogeta next? Yeah, I definitely think it would be a cool addition to put Gogeta into the movie and make him a part of the main timeline, the main story, but the thing is, for me, like, if he doesn't damage Broly to such a point that they can beat him without being fused, or if he doesn't beat Broly, and if he just straight up loses, or if he defuses before he can do anything, anything again, then that would just make me really disappointed because why go out of your way to add this character other than the fact that he's popular and could draw some more money, I guess? Why not actually use him to his full potential, you know? 
but it really comes down to what they're going to go with in that direction, and maybe Gogeta will once again be a fusion that can actually get the job done. But overall, I feel like we've kind of come down to the conclusion that it would make more sense to say that Vegito is the more perfect fusion or the better fusion out of the two thus far. It's just really due to evidence, really. This can all change, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, it definitely can change, especially with some of the retcons surrounding fusion in Dragon Ball Super, but it really waits to be seen. So let us know your own thoughts down below in the comments. Make sure to check out Dragon Ball Nation in the end screen and the description. And if you're new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you can see all of my videos right away when they come out. And if you like this video, then make sure to stick around because there's a lot more to come in the future. Yeah, you could fuse both the Gogeta and the Vegito together, and I would still stomp them easily with my muscles. Uh.